Hello there, this is Mac20 Questions and today we're going to have another look at Mars Edit and do some formatting. So I've got that word selected there and I can do formatting with that. I can, for instance, make it so that it's bold. And select another one. I can change that so it's going to be italics and I can use the Command I or Command B or Command U if I want an underline. So let's select that there, do Command B. Let's put it in bold. If I click that one there, do Command U, that's going to put an underline on there. So we look over here, there's arrow, the word arrow look. Now that's got an underline on there because I underlined it using the formatting tools over on this part over here. And things will work in the weirdy wig side of things as well, look so. So let's do something with this. I can say that I want the text to be bigger. It doesn't show it so well over here, but you see that it's actually made it bigger over there. You can put in bulleted lists in this as well if you want to. So for instance, if I want this here, these three paragraphs to be a list, then what I can do is I can click on Format, Insert Bulleted List. And there we go, we've got a bulleted list there. That's That's handy, isn't it? We could insert a numbered list instead of a bulleted list and we can decide how we want the text to be set. So, if, OK, paragraph selected. At the moment it is left justified. And maybe I want to have it fully justified. So now it is. OK, so let's go to media again. Because we didn't actually see that, you can also take things from Flickr. What you need to do is you need to authorise Mars Edit at Flickr.com with your Flickr account. Go to On My Mac. Within On My Mac, I can choose something from my Pictures folder. So, for instance, might want to put that in there. Let's just do Insert. So there, it's been inserted. Oh, how cool is that then? HTML, because I want to put in some HTML there. Okay, so let's just uh, go to the point where I want to put the HTML in there. Now I've got something set up within Text Expander. So if I do PQ, I've got it set up so that I can. I've got a pull quote that goes in here. So I've just got to change that to whatever text. So I've got my highlighted text in there now. So in fact, uh, I think it's possible even for me to put a picture in there if I want to. So let's try that. We'll go to Format and Insert Image. Inserted the same image there as I did before because I just told it to do the Insert Image again. So inside that pull quote there, I can actually have text or I can have images, whatever I wish. So I have that selected and maybe what I want to do that there, with that there is I want to have a link. So I'll go to uh, link. Okay, so I've got a link there now. So that here will link to the Mac 20 Questions website. It's very easy to add text, very easy to add images. That's why I always add images in there. I do tend to do my HTML work first and all the links first within uh, TextMate so that I can use the multi markdown reference to links. I get some very nice HTML out of there. Sometimes what I do is say, for instance, I want a link and I want it to be an external link. Let's do uh, Command Shift and T. Okay, so we're back into the HTML editor again. Select the word there I want to make into a link to an external website. Oh, there we go. So some of these, as you can see, some of the things in the format menu are only available when you're looking at it in the HTML version, which is why another reason why I tend to work in HTML. For instance, if I want to link to an external site, so click on OK. And the reason I've got it, got it differently there from an ordinary link is because on this one here, I've added target equals blank. And that will make it open up in a separate tab or a separate window, depending on how you've got the browser set. And now if you want to send to blog. Now it says here that I haven't put in keywords and that's getting posted. Okay, so here I am in my amazing iPad website and how to add movies to iTunes is the last one that I put in there. There we go. So you see it's gone in there as a draft, which is what I wanted to do because I didn't want it to be posted on there. And I'm actually going to trash it, I'm going to delete it. But uh, you'll notice that the SEO title, SEO keywords and SEO descriptions don't get put in there when you're putting those things in there. So what I usually do is I usually go into this afterwards. So I select this text here, which is the tags, copy them, go into this bit here, put the keywords in. Just copied those from the tags. And also what I do is I take this bit here 
and paste it into there and I will also write a thing in there about GarageBand and that's going to be updated then so you can see how easy it is to do some formatting in Mars Edit and get your blog post looking just the way that you want it so that's all for this particular video for Mac 20 questions and I'll do some more about Mars Edit in the next one so bye bye now and don't forget to click on subscribe to the channel